Yeah. Was that the closest drive so far to the line, the start line? But still slightly right? Yeah. Not as much open, but still slightly open to your start, your chosen start line. That's your best so far in the series? Last three have been very playable. Would you agree? Yeah. Oh, that's another one of those cutting heart shots. PJ, I want to compare your driver swing. Uh, from the last time we met on the right to a few weeks ago, uh, your swing on the left. And I really like the new swing. Uh, it's a much more uh, compact finish. It's not as loose at the finish, and I'm going to show that to you. Before I begin, it does look like your stance is slightly wider on the right. Uh, I think the stance on the left for a driver is a little too narrow. So I think, uh, I don't think we talked about that much, but I think you did that uh, yourself and maybe just kind of a, a natural feeling for you. Uh, but uh, I like that. Also, it, it looks like your uh, spine angle is a little better position um, on the right. There's a slight amount of, of tilt, not a lot, no, not too much, but a little bit, which I think for the driver is good. Uh, I think that came from the work we did about trying to hit up on the ball and hit the ball higher. You just intuitively started uh, changing your setup a little bit to allow that. I think the uh, setup on the right um, has some uh, issues that uh, you corrected, so very good. I'm going to just frame advance this swing for position. You are much shorter um, on the right. You're, you're not getting to parallel, but you still had uh, good power. So I, I really like that swing on the right. Uh, you're going to be much more consistent with that swing. You have a good shoulder turn, uh, obviously with both. And you have a little bit more hip turn with the one on the left. Um, but... Uh, there's still a, a good amount of hip turn on the right. Now I'm going to take you down to impact. Similar positions. Then I'm going to take you up to the finish. There's the ninth. Good extension in both. That part of the swing has always been good. You do see a little bit more leaning back, a little bit more spine angle here, I think, than over here, by a few degrees. But on your finish, you can see how it's just a complete wraparound, nice aesthetic look. But I really like that little tighter finish right there. More, It requires a lot more speed in the body and not so much flipping the hands through the ball. You have to really let the body uh, rotate hard into the golf ball uh, with this swing on the right, which I think will stabilize that uh, club face and path. The wind was too strong to hear our conversation, but we were talking about how you, you tended to slide sometimes and block the ball to the right and that you were sliding in front of the ball instead of pushing the belt buckle more forward while keeping the sternum back so you had a little bit of a, a spine tilt and you stayed behind the golf ball a little bit better. I launched it high but it didn't go crazy right. And were, was there more emphasis on feeling the belt buckle push under? Okay.
That's two in a row with that one change in the way you think. Ooh, I really like that one because when it first took off, I thought it was going to be lost to the right, and it held its own. I think that belt buckle going underneath has produced the best shot you've hit today. You haven't, you're not hitting them every time, but I think it's the right way to go. You've got to get underneath. Get that lean back. That started left as the fairway drew it. Right. Okay. Two. The only way we can make that club that face angle correct is if the path was more high. Uh, we would have to, if we say, so, well, okay, the base is open a little bit, but that's not, that's only bad with this path. Would it be bad with the more outward path? That swing I just made, I'm curious to know if I'm way flat or if I'm... Oh yeah, I'm glad I saw that. That's just, you're just wiping it. On the next series of drives, I started tracking good shots and bad shots by waving my hand in front of the camera. During the, the toward the end of the session, when we started working on handle up and out, uh, with the camera set behind you, and we had selected a, a fairway zone out there, I started waving my hand in front of the camera to identify a, a well-struck drive that was solid and in the fairway. And I did not wave my hand in front of the camera when it was missing the fairway. What I have on the left is your first drive when I started doing this, and the one on the right was the second drive. I'm going to frame advance, and we're going to follow the ball. The, the yellow line is from the ball to a tree on the, the horizon. And that is close to the left side of the fairway. As you come through the ball, as I'm going to draw a little blue circle and trace that path. This ball started pretty straight and stayed pretty straight. And I had identified this drive as a well-struck drive in the fairway. Now we're going to look at the one on the right. It started a little, face was a little bit more open. Ball started a little bit more to the right. And 
and was curving right as well, and it missed the fairway to the right. The one on the left was a good drive, started a little left of the uh, yellow line and faded back into the fairway. The one on the right was a miss fairway that started on the line and faded to the right too much. So after four drives, you were two for four. On drives five and six, they were both in the fairway. The one on the left started a little bit left and faded. The one on the right uh, started straight and stayed straight. Four for six. Both drives seven and eight were hit solid and in the fairway. The one on the left was a little more left and faded back. Six for eight. The one on the left was a push fade that uh, missed the fairway. And the one on the right was solid and straight. Seven for ten. Both of these were very solid and in the fairway. So you hit nine out of twelve drives in the fairway, which was obviously a, a very good percentage, 75%. And we were working on handle up and out and the, the right palm down in the backswing. There may be other things you should work on uh, in addition to these two things, but I want to focus only on these two things until you get them ingrained in your swing. Have an intense thought about your, those two swing thoughts, particularly the up and out. In your, and that's what allows you to uh, control the pass so it doesn't go swinging too far left. Because when you swing left it actually retards the closure of the club face and you end up having a push slice.